out for Lehman Brothers. Lehman's share price has plummeted from $65 last summer to under $15. It's crazy. This is clearly a turning point. So could Lehman, Lehman share the fate of Bear Stearns? Let's find out what Dick Bovet thinks. He is Wall Street's top bank analyst, and he's at Lattenberg and Thalman. Hey, Dick, how you doing? All Good, right. how are you? Good, thanks. Okay, so the question, of course, now is should Dick Fold go? My question is, who do they have to replace him? Who's going to want the job? And at this point, uh, is that the answer to help the company? Well, I think uh, having Mr. Fold go is not the answer to help this company. I think that uh, what is needed is uh, a buyer to come in and to take a look at the various assets that the company has. Of course, you've mentioned Newberger Berman, but there's a lot more than that. I mean, the company has one of the best fixed income trading businesses in the country. It has a huge M&A business, which has been extraordinarily successful. It has the best research department on both the equity and the fixed income side. It has uh, one of the best private uh, wealth management groups you know, the stock salesmen out there in, in the country. So it has all of these high-quality assets which are being forgotten as people focus on all of the bad loans that's made in the uh, commercial real estate area or uh, residual holdings in the mortgage area. So th that's the conflict. In other words, the people inside the company are saying, hey, we've got all this stuff. It's worth a lot of money. We don't want to sell out at a very low price. And the market is saying, hey, you've got all these rotten loans. We don't want to pay a very high price for you. And it's that differential between the company's perception of itself and the market's perception of the company, which has created this gridlock. And at some point, it's got to break. So, Dick, that's the key then. I mean, it seems like I, I feel like I'm a broken record on this show sometimes over and over. It's the same companies that are causing problems. I mean, no, we, we just had this really good discussion about the housing market. We all know we need to get through that for the economy to be back on footing. But also, is it we're going to have to have one of these banks, Lehman Brothers in particular, resolve this whole situation resolve, whether it's by, uh, bought out, whether it fails, whether the government steps in as some sort of bailout. But we need this issue resolved with this bank in particular. Well, I think you're exactly right. I think we do need a resolution, and I think the resolution is, is perhaps sooner than, than later, because if you think about it, uh, private equity funds put $7 billion into Washington Mutual. They put $7 billion also into National City. Neither one of those companies have anywhere near the quality of Lehman Brothers, and right now, the total market capital of Lehman Brothers is only about $7.5 billion. So it could easily be done by any number of private equity firms in the United States, and I would definitely believe that the Korean Development Bank would make money available to see that happen. So I think there is at least a, a dozen firms, and I would list, you know, Lazard, uh, Greenhill, Blackstone, BlackRock, I would, I would list, you know, the Canadian banks, the British banks, the Japanese banks, all of whom, you know, would have an interest in this company at this point and who would have the expertise to break it up into the different pieces where they could pull value out of what is a very good company. Yeah, because that was actually my next question, Dick. You know, uh, Fold has been there since 1993 when they spun it off from Amex. They were, as you said, a fixed income genius. I mean, that's where you went for fixed income. And it, so is that where they should go back? Should they go back to their original knitting, get rid of any, everything, be the fixed income monster that they were? And maybe then they almost, almost, it's almost like they're, they'd have to start the firm over again. Yeah, no, I agree with you again. I think that uh, when firms get into this much trouble, they have to spin off the assets to bring in the capital to create stability in the mind of their customers. They have to whittle themselves down to the core businesses that really work. And for Lehman Brothers, fixed income really works. It also has a great investment banking division, and that really works. It should whittle itself down to that base and start over the next three, four, five years to grow, grow itself back into a big company again. Hey, Dick, so, you know, we saw a lot of uh, influx of uh, money from the sovereign wealth funds, Abu Dhabi, Singapore. You know, so far we're only hearing in this instance uh, about um, the Korea Development Bank. I mean, you know, there's some people out there saying, why are these sovereign investment funds even want to get involved? Because they've already been burned just in the past few months. I mean, sure, they can probably wait long term and make a killing potentially, but uh, it's a risky investment for them as well. 
Yeah, no, you're right. I don't think the sovereign wealth funds are going to get involved at all. I think, as you've clearly stated, Rebecca, they, they basically have been burned too much by buying too soon at too high a price. So they're probably going to be the last, uh, you know, investors that come into this situation. But they're not needed. I think you have enough private equity funds in the United States that are looking for investments at the present time where, where they would find Lehman, I think, an ideal candidate given all of the assets that sit in that company, which I think have great value. Dick Beauvais, thanks so much for joining us uh, for here for happy hour. Next time we want to see you right here in the bar stool yeah. with us. <laughs> All right, thank you.